Good evening and welcome to our reflections for Friday the 7th of August. I want to reflect this evening on the theme of courage and I'm going to begin with a Bible reading and it happens to be also the Bible reading for this coming Sunday. Uh, so it's from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 14 beginning at verse 22 and it uh, picks up the story not long after the death of John the Baptist and obviously this has hit Jesus hard and um, he's already taken some time out and then gets interrupted uh, and that's when we hear the story of the feeding of the 5,000 and then just after that he needs to take some more proper time out um, and sends the disciples away for a bit um, and that's where we pick the story up. Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time, the boat, battered by the waves, was far from land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning, he came, walking across, walking towards them on the lake. But when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and began and beginning to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why do you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. Of course, there is so much going on in that passage there. Uh, it begins, like I say, of Jesus taking time out uh, after he really needs it following the death of his cousin, John the Baptist. But so much else is going on. It's not just about the calming of a storm, which gets kind of thrown in there uh, towards the end. Um, it's not just even about Jesus walking on the water. That just happens to be, it's quite thrown in quite matter-of-factly, as though that's just the method of his travel. Um, it's also about Peter again, and Peter's courage or seeming lack of it. But don't forget, Peter is the only one here who actually gets out of the boat. So we're faced here with Peter's fear and courage. Peter as he so often does, representing humanity. But I doubt many of us are as brave as Peter uh, was in that moment. Like I say, it was a, a moment of Jesus uh, reaching out to Peter in his seemingly uh, moment of fear. But it took huge courage even to just step out of the boat into in that, in that time. And this is a time when we're all encouraged to think about how we might have courage in the times ahead. One of the things I know we're looking at or we'll be looking at uh, as elders is how we can look towards the future. What do we what have we learned during this time of, of a lockdown and what have we learned from the experiences of the pandemic that we can take with us? Positive things we've done that we can take forward, things we need to leave behind. Um, but we need to be at that moment of climbing out of the boat like Peter. Are we doing enough now? Do we need to do more? Um, are we doing the right thing? Um, of course, we can't do everything, but we need to look to the future. And I turn towards uh, a little comment that comes up in some of the, the commentary uh, in Roots Worship and Learning Resource for this week which reflects on Peter. It says, Peter has doubts. 
He is often considered on the basis of his role in Acts to be the greatest of the twelve. Does his question to Jesus help us to go on in faith despite our doubts? His getting out of the boat is symbolic as his leaving the life of a fisherman and going to become a disciple of Jesus. He leaves security behind. Can we? If we are always careful to stay within our comfort zone, do we avoid stepping out in faith? There is so much there about courage. And I want to turn to a song. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to sing it to you. But on an album I bought recently, uh, it's uh, Pink's latest album, uh, Hurts to be Human. And I'd recommend listening to the track uh, if you can. It's called Courage. It's my favourite song at the moment from that album. Um, I think because it reflects so much of where we need to be at the moment in terms of being bold and having courage to move forward. Um, there's a lot in it about the possible despair that we might face, you know, in with all that's going on. Um, but I want to read to you some selected bits from the the lines of that song. I walk uphill, it hurts. I bury my heart here in this dirt. I hope it's a seed. I hope it works. I need to grow. Here I could be closer to the light. I don't have to do this perfectly. The rain it falls, sowing the seeds of love and hope. Have I the courage to change? Have I the courage to change today? I let the light shine in the darkest place. Again, like that reading, there is so much going on there. Themes of hope, uh, obvious reflections on, on courage, a realisation that we don't have to be perfect to move forward in faith. In fact, that's the point. We wouldn't need faith if we were perfect. Moving forward, letting the light shine in our dark places to show us the way. And that light for us, in faith is Jesus and it's about not putting it off. The song ends with two words I don't have to do after it says I don't have to do this perfectly it says today today don't put it off like Peter get out of the boat now move forward in hope what do we need to take with us what do we need to leave behind have the courage to step out of the boat that is the difficult step. Peter did it. We're encouraged to do the same. Let us pray. As we approach you today, Lord, we probably feel pretty much like pre Peter, full of bravado to begin with, but then just not quite so certain of ourselves. We come to you, Jesus, trusting that even if we feel ourselves beginning to sink under the pressures we face, we know you are still there holding us up. Please reassure us that you won't let us go, no matter how we feel. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. That prayer came from Ruth's Worship and Learning Resource. So, have courage. Have courage to change today. God bless. Good night.